got to talk about? Yeah. A fraud? No, it wasn't a fraud, but I'll be glad to talk to you if you'll shut up and let me talk. Now. And a fraud? Let me tell you something. I'll tell you a couple of stories about fraud. The Bohemian Club, the, as you say, the Bohemian Club? That's where all those rich Republicans go up and stand naked against redwood trees, right? I've never been to the Bohemian Club, but you ought to go. It'd be good for you. Get some fresh air. We ran into David Gergen, the Carl Rove of four presidential administrations. Okay, one last question. I read a Washington Times article many years ago where you had a comment about the organization, and then now it's been in the Wall Street Journal, it's been in a lot of different newspapers, and that's the Bohemian Grove. And back in, what was it, 19... Uh, 96 when you joined uh, as a Clinton advisor they were the Republicans were criticizing you oh what about Bohemian Grove and then you counter uh, and then you countered them by saying hey I don't run around in the woods naked what did that mean here is the before mentioned Washington Times article where he said I didn't run around naked like they do I don't, I don't, I don't know what I don't know what quote you're referring to I'm not aware of any quote like that uh, listen uh, I am uh, uh, a happy member of the Bohemian Grove. I like the, uh, the folks who come there, and uh, it's really inappropriate for me to uh, talk about a, uh, uh, the group beyond that. Thank you. Have you been there for the ceremony with uh, the cremation of care? Uh, frankly, that's, uh, that, uh, I don't think that's something I need to talk to you about. Really? That's right. Well, I'm Alex Jones, and I snuck in there in 2000. I'm the guy that blew it wide open and got the video. It's been on national TV. Well, I disrespect you for that. You do? I do. But it's a lot of big public officials going in there. You took, don't we deserve to know? You, you took an I don't know anything about you, and I don't know anything about your film. But if you go in there with an understanding, you violated that understanding by releasing that film, and I don't respect you for that. Really? But you, we have public officials you, I'm sorry. Policy. You took an understanding when you went in there that you would not do that film. And you did, did you have an understanding when you went in there? No. Did you crash it? Yes. Yeah, and it has no trespassing signs there, too, doesn't it? No, they put them yes, up after. Oh, I'm I sorry. Just in. I'm sorry, sir. I've been there before. I know what, I know what the circumstances are, and I'm sorry you uh, violated the understandings. That was not that was not a gentlemanly thing to do. But what about the ritual? Is the ritual gentlemanly? <laughs> Sir, everything. Uh, you, I, I, don't, I don't owe you this comment. I know. I appreciate you, you, you. You have. You. This is what's called ambush journalism, and I disrespect you for that as well. So thank have you, you ever and goodbye. Been in the ritual? That's none of your damn business. Oh. That's right. Listen, oh. listen. You go around and and make understandings with people and violate them. You, you ambush people on the streets, and that's an that's inappropriate form of journalism. If you wish to practice that, that's fine. But don't ask others to respect you for it. If you want to, you, you can do, you're free American, like anything you want. If you want to be uncivil and rude and ungentlemanly, that's up to you. But don't expect the rest well, of us to say, oh, well, you're there, one. Mr. Gergen. I'm sorry, nobody says policy in there. We try to be gentlemen, and obviously, you don't belong there. Weaving spiders coming out here? <laughs> yeah, that is a three-pointer. Woo! Look how strangely he behaved when we brought it up. Why is he acting so secretive? And why did he get so angry when he discovered that we'd snuck in? You see, they take it very, very seriously. This is one of the hallmarks of the occult and secret societies. The word occult means secret. Secrecy is part of their religion. They revel in it. And when it's violated, they become extremely angry. How widespread is the occult? The answer is extremely widespread. Occultism in our society, and particularly in our government, and at the highest levels of corporate America, is rampant. It's also important to note that the Grove itself was founded in 1872 by West Coast journalists, and that the National Press Club adopted the iconography of the Grove for its great seal. There are three major icons used in the cremation of care ritual. Moloch, the owl idol, the curved staff carried by the high priest, and the eternal flame lamp, the Arabian-style lamp 
which the priest uses to ignite his torch, which he then uses to burn the human effigy, Care. Our social lives, going to the football game or the PTA, a little bit different than your average world leader or corporation chief. No, in their spare time, they worship Moloch and do mock human sacrifices. We just need to get used to that and accept them as our leaders. Think about it. If your neighbor was engaging in mock human sacrifices to Moloch, the demon idol that was worshipped all over the Mediterranean and the Middle East, would you let that neighbor walk your dog or house sit or how about babysit your children or be in control of the nuclear launch codes? Well, let me give you a revelation. They are in control of the national deficit, of Congress, of your bank account, of your local police department, and they see you as cattle, as their slaves. George Bush takes his inspiration from what he learned in Skull and Bones and from the Thule Society that Hitler and Goebbels and Goring cut their teeth in, Bohemian Grove, these evil organizations that perpetrate the ugly things that these criminals are doing to this country for which they must be held accountable. They are the most violent, dirtiest people on the face of the earth. Somewhere, Americans are going to have to take their country back and start finding out who are these people. Who are these people we call our representatives? The Bushes. George Bush, the president, his father, went around the country talking about a new world order. The people who are running this country from behind the scenes do not care a thing about Americans or bloodshed anywhere.
about something that's entertaining or sensational. We're talking about your government, wh where you live, your country, your freedoms. Right. And what we're talking about here is things which you see every day. Like someone said a long time ago, many will look with their eyes but not see and listen with their ears but not hear. And that's us. That is this country. We have been looking at things all along and never realizing the significance of the occult emblems that we're seeing today. Okay. We're talking about a global government that's in existence right now. We're not talking about a nation that is going. We're talking about a nation that is gone. We do not control the government of the United States of America. The United States of America is controlled by this evil archy. They control the money system. They control the State Department. They control the presidency. The seal that we have on an American dollar bill is an occult seal of an occult society pursuing an occult agenda. I mean, we could do anything we want, we just got to believe in it, and our beliefs and the way we carry ourselves and the way we act is the most important thing in this world, and we shouldn't be afraid to be who we are because based on intimidation and fear. This government uses fear and depression as their major tools of oppression, and we have to understand, we can't be scared, we can't be depressed, we have to think positively, we have to, we have to do good things, and it's not about me, it's not about individuals, it's about all of us standing up for what's right, and when we all stand up, that's going to be the significant amount of change that we're going to see in this world. That's going to be the time where we're going to take this country back for what it's supposed to be, truth, liberty, and love. And that's the main principles behind We Are Change, standing up there as individuals, empowering ourselves and motivating more people to stand up with themselves. You know, and again, don't ever be afraid to be who you are. Don't ever be afraid to speak what you know, to get out there, believe in yourself, and you have a short life to live. Make sure you live a good one.